Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, if I got a beautiful travel trailer we're going to review today. I mean, this is one that you could full time in. This is one you can recreational use. I mean, this is a beautiful one. I love these Outbacks. I don't get them in very often. Uh, these things are just awesome, awesome uh, trailers. This is a 2016 Keystone Outback Super Light Diamond Edition. This is their top, top, top tier in the Outback series. Uh, I just looked up brand new 2023s. Uh, they're online uh, over $60,000 brand new for a 2023 model like this. This is a triple slide, 326 RL. It is 36 feet, 11 inches long, three slide outs. It's got the optional glacier package, enclosed heated underbelly, heated uh, holding tanks. It is four seasons. So like I said, this would be a great full timers uh, camper. It weighs 8,800 pounds dry weight. It is 50 amp electrical service. I'm just running off my little small generator. Two air conditioners, two refrigerators, two RV refrigerators. I mean, there's things that catch me out when it comes to travel trailers, guys. Beautiful rear lounge floor plan, tons of space. It's got a fifth wheel floor plan in a travel trailer. Power tongue jack. Of course, it's got the power uh, stabilizer jacks. I should have turned the headlights on. Got the headlights on the front. Water heater. All slide outs have awning toppers. You got a power awning. LED light strip. You can see the outside looks great. This is the last year you could get the tinted paint on the Outback. After that, they became white, which I guess nothing wrong with that, but they just kind of look like everything else after this year. Like everybody else's camper. Good thick fiberglass cap on the front. Double 30 pound bottles. This is gonna be kind of a quick video guys. It's Saturday afternoon. We have been crazy busy. So three motorhomes on a Saturday. That's with the banks closed. Give you an idea what kind of business we're still doing. And they say the RV business is slow right now. <laughs> Maybe everybody else, but not us. <laughs> if, if anything, the current RV business has helped our business because now people, before, during when everybody was just looking for anybody that had anything in stock and just paying whatever, now everybody's bargain shopping. And when you go bargain shopping, you go to the place that's got the lowest prices. Guess who's got the lowest prices? Right here right here in Ringo, Georgia at Parkway RV Center. So we're still doing business as usual, at least since the, since the pandemic started. 326RL, heated and closed for cold weather camping, Arctic barrier, 326RL. Look at this beautiful RV. One thing I do have to do to it, guys, I gotta put a sofa in it. I'll show you what the previous owners did. I kind of got a chuckle out of it. What people do sometimes to keep from fixing it the right way. <laughs> but first we'll get before we get to that. You know, this right here is awesome. Two eight cubic foot RV refrigerator freezers. So 16 cubic feet of RV refrigerator freezers that these can run off of propane or electric. I'm running on my generator, so I'm running them on electric. So basically the equivalent of a four, actually more than a four-door. You know, most of your four-door RV refrigerator freezer is only 12 or 14 cubic feet. This is 16 total. Not appear to have been a live-in unit either. Solar surface countertop, stainless steel appliances. I love this L-shaped kitchen that goes in and out with a slide. <coughs> Big dinette booth that makes a bed. Dual sofas in the back. This one's fine. But this one, this is how they try to cover it up. They stapled a dish towel, a brown dish towel to the sofa. Stapled it. And didn't even do that good a job at that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna replace this sofa. Now I may not match that color exactly. I think I can get pretty close. I'm gonna go to my, uh, of course, you know, I'll, I order all my RV furniture exclusively from recpro.com and um they've got a color i think it's pretty close to that 
So it'll give me about a week to 10 days I should have that new couch in stock and put it installed in here. Fireplace, which you can set for the effect or for an auxiliary electric heater. You have a, you have a big TV. I love the crowned roof, LED lighting. The batten strips, I mean, just a good looking camper. You only see crowned roofs on the higher end campers. And um, looking here, you got a closet. Big closet, which is again, if you're gonna use this for a full-time camper, is a really nice thing to have. And you have a walk-through bathroom, lasting shower. Vent fan, skylight, shower looks good. Of course, we unhooked the shower hose because we've already winterized it. And of course, you got a sliding door there if you want to cut off the bedroom in case you got guests here. This camper can sleep actually, we'll say six, maybe eight, depending on what kind of sofa I can get that will fit where those, uh, where that other sofa's at that needs to be replaced. You've got a touch screen, zero, 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 zero. Of course, your code here, you can control all your different amenities, turn everything off and on, you check your tank levels, all that good stuff, battery levels. And uh, this is your thermostat for your main heat and air. It's got a 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. It's got a furnace and it's got an auxiliary 13,500 BTU air in here in the front bedroom. Got a King Island bed, large closet across the front, does not have a space for a washer and dryer, unfortunately, or a washer and dryer prep. Now that being said, guys, I'm not saying that you couldn't maybe rig something up in here if you had to have one. I'm not a big fan of them. I think they're a waste of money, even if you are living in one. But I'm not saying that you couldn't take this right, this, this chest, this, uh, um, this dresser right here out and maybe put one a stack unit right here side by side or something like that you might be able to do that and you just have to run your water line and your drain somehow but you know that's something you'd have to figure out on your own tv but i do say this if you do something that dramatic keep this uh this uh dresser so if you ever decide to later on trade your camper or sell it you can take that wash and dryer out put that back in put it back original condition and you can uh and it'll be worth more you know or you know or give the buyer the option of, of having it either way because a lot of people don't rather have that dresser than a wash and dryer but you do at least you have 50 amp of power so you've got plenty of power to run all that but yeah guys 8800 pounds dry weight if you don't know what your vehicle can tow, if you'll look in the video description below, there is a link to my free interactive tow guide. You can put, put in your vehicle's particulars and you can, uh, it'll tell you exactly how many pounds you can tow and uh, show you everything I have in my lot that you can tow with your vehicle. It doesn't just go by the dry weight. It also goes by the uh, weight of your cargo, which is your food, water, propane, luggage, personal items, things like that. It's a very, very effective tool to have. And um, for today, guys, so just a quick Saturday travel trailer video. I thought this was a neat camper. It's 27.9 while it lasts, includes our major systems inspection. So please listen closely, guys, our major systems inspection. Why nobody, uh, dealer or individual, can guarantee everything to work on a used RV. Or they don't even guarantee everything to work on a new one now. But um, what we guarantee to work on it, what we check after purchase, is we make sure that all your slide outs work. And we don't just make sure they go in and out. We actually check, make sure they seal, make sure there's no damage to them. If we repair anything, if we find anything wrong with them. We also uh, check your water system, make sure there's no water leaks. We de we dewinterize it, check your water systems, make sure there's no plumbing leaks anywhere. We make sure your hot water heater works at all modes of operation. It's got a gas electric water heater. 
uh, we make sure it works we make sure that hot water goes everywhere it's supposed to nowhere it's not supposed to we check and make sure both your refrigerators get to operating temperature on both modes of operation propane and electric we check the propane system of course make sure there's no propane leaks make sure there's no water leaks as far as your plumbing system we check and make sure your steps work your front jacks work and your air conditioners we make sure they get to operating temperature and of course guys that's our major system now if there's any mickey mouse stuff we are going to put a new couch in here which i don't think that couch these I don't, I don't know if these couches are original anyway they kind of look like it but that one looks like it's almost too big for that slide out anyway so i'll try to get something that'll fit a little better um but we will uh put your new couch in here 27.9 haggle free firm now anything else on it guys if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't that's that's the simplest way i can put it to you uh so it's your responsibility as a buyer to you know you need to come look at it in person make sure it's going to suit your needs you know i mean videos help pictures help yes but nothing beats actually walking through the rv yourself in person sitting down on the furniture laying down in the bed just kind of making sure it's big enough to suit your needs and um also if you're experienced with rvs we'll plug it into shore power or run a bigger generator to it we can turn everything on kind of do your own inspection and see if it's right for you and um and of course you're always welcome and highly 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 encouraged to hire a third-party RV inspector, guys. I mean, a few hundred dollars. I mean, guys, this thing's half price of what they cost new. Less than half price of what a brand new 2023 costs you. Nothing wrong with spending a few hundred bucks on an RV inspection service, guys. The amount of money you're saving and plus not having to pay all those fees at upsells that other dealers charge you on new units and used units that we don't charge. Yeah, uh, you're, you're way money ahead buying from here and then also getting a third-party RV inspection. I cannot recommend that enough but uh, you need to do that and get an rv inspector or do it yourself or both so uh, if this is something you think you're interested in give us a call at 706-965-7929 uh, make sure you uh, call before coming to look make sure somebody hadn't beaten you to it and while you're here guys of course i got a large selection of used rvs but this is the only outback i currently have in stock for right now as of right now I mean, you never know. I might have half a dozen of them this time next week, but you never know. Um, if you got questions about this RV, give us a call, 706-965-7929, and check out this unit. Not going to last very long for this price, not for a triple slide, four seasons, outback, rear lounge, beautiful travel trailer. Like I said, this is almost like a fifth wheel floor plan in a one-level travel trailer. So this is going to be a very desirable one, a great price. We can help you arrange nationwide delivery through our good buddies at Nuga Transport. Uh, let us know if you're interested in delivery. We'll put you in touch with them. They can get you a quote. And we can also do delivery through our drivers locally or semi-locally if you're very, very patient because we're down to just one truck right now. And um, we're just pretty much using our drivers just to pick up units we buy only. So, um you know, we, we'll try to get you worked in, but we're only doing local or semi-local within two or 300 miles. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Just a quick Saturday video, get you through the weekend. And um, let us know if you have any questions, comment below. And always, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. And we take trade-ins. And again, financing available with approved credit and down payment. No fees, no upsells. 27.9 plus tax. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.